Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is just a really quick kind of check-in, touch base reading uh, because it's the full moon in Capricorn and the energy feels kind of weird to me. It's kind of a mix of that very, very reassuring kind of steadfast Capricorn energy, but then kind of maybe fears with the moon or things that are hidden. So it's this feeling of like wanting to be grounded and secure and stable and like trustworthy is the word that I'm hearing, like trustworthy, but feeling confused and afraid. It's really strange. Now it's collective energy. I want to say if it affects you personally, that's because the energy of the planets affects us all personally, but I am kind of intending to be kind of collectively. Um, I'm going to refer back to the Aquarius Capricorn reading that I did where I was talking about Pluto moving between these signs. Now I know Pluto is doing some funky stuff uh, within the coming couple of weeks in regards to it being like, um, I don't know, creating aspects with like the North Node and things like this where um, it's going to be a challenging placement. There's going to be a little bit of, I'm hearing uproar, um, a little bit of, well definitely challenge to authority. I'm sorry if you can hear the howling in the background, it's my child singing in the shower but I've only got a certain amount of daylight and I'm just gonna have to do this reading with the background noise um so um yeah so in that reading um I remember talking about um as Pluto kind of goes retrograde into Capricorn for the last time it's a very slow moving, pl moving planet it's literally like years and years and years it spends in one sign so it's kind of like a generational planet or a phase of kind of uh, the planet, planet, <laughs> the phase of Earth pl like planet, right? It has like a big effect on us all collectively. So with Pl Pluto going retrograde into Capricorn, I was calling it kind of, I'm hearing now dying embers, dying embers of structures of authority that are no longer fit for purpose. And then it'll go into uh, Aquarius, which is a lot more of a social uh, sign. It's more about the greater good rather than the kind of like holding onto the, is like, what's that word? Like vestiges of power. I keep hearing things in this reading. It's really weird. Uh, so um, I'm hearing crumbling as well. So it's so funny that I was talking about this and these kind of like challenges um, and and kind of lash back at authority. And as this is happening, the authority is trying to kind of like claw and nail. It's like, you know, holding on to its power. It's so interesting that I was talking about that in that reading. And it, it, it's literally coming up. So um <laughs> The, I believe that the, the way that Pluto is kind of uh, creating these aspects, we haven't had it this specific arrangement for like 200 and something years. The last time it happened, we had the French Revolution and um, I don't want to kind of kind of be seen as cashing in on kind of like headline news but you can look at what's happening in France right now and it's exactly what I've been talking about and it's exactly the same uh, planetary conjunction that hasn't happened since the French Revolution so um, there's a reason why these things are happening there's a reason why these things are kind of like coming up for us and then the reading actually starts again I shuffle uh, I've got six decks today well no actually six seven eight nine 10 decks uh, which I've kind of like shuffled all together the cards have come out and um, I've put the cards back together and reshuffled and this is the order of the cards this is how the cards want to talk the very first card is crown games the right use of power and what this is giving me like it doesn't have a head right there's a little tiny fly it's not it's like the people who have power the structures the organizations the government the police um they're not thinking with their head they're thinking with their stomach which is telling me that they're thinking reactively right they're thinking um, in a knee-jerk reaction kind of way. So again, using France as just one example of the many ways that this energy can come up, um, you know, the police are saying, oh, look, teenagers are rioting. We'll arrest the parents of the teenagers if the teenagers riot. And it's such a knee-jerk response and it's not gonna, it's oppressive and it's coming at it from really the wrong angle because it really is just increasing the divide between those who are trying to kind of squash this um, uprising and those who are doing the uprising right and these kids right these teenagers and young adults who are kind of rioting yes they're not necessarily doing a good thing they're not necessarily do going about things the right way but I think it's just an example of people feeling so frustrated underrepresented 
underrepresented, you know, so, uh, un like, the government isn't hearing them, you know, they are perhaps choosing to do certain things because they don't have very many options available so they're just doing what they know how to do um, and a lot of different things it's going to be different on a personal level but just kind of collectively the way that uh, these people are being portrayed by the media you know they are um, disenfranchised uh, a disenfranchised generation of kids who are the government has not been doing right by them and they're fed up. Um, and so, um, you know, the specific example of like why this is kind of triggered is because, triggered is an interesting word, um, is because uh, the police, uh, a police officer shot a 17 year old boy because he uh, refused to stop um, at a kind of checkpoint and you know is that a is that the right use of power is the question that's come up here is is that okay did did they act correctly they acted legally but was it should that be legal you know is that you know was that law designed for a different purpose and it's being misused so all these kind of questions coming up with this crown games which is kicking off the reading now i want to say the answer the response here that perhaps my guides are suggesting which is making me think very strongly of the the uh libra reading libra had this really lilithy kind of dark reading uh, that was coming through this I'm storming the castle right I'm going to take the throne <laughs> kind of thing it felt quite angry um, and you can think about like a mother's love as well a mother's love and how stirring that can be because we definitely have this thing about kind of like um uh, the knee-jerk reaction of those in power versus uh the loving words or the 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 words spoken from the heart with the messenger of water or the actions taken from a loving place right rather than a knee-jerk place because no one seems to be thinking here um so my kid really is <laughs> going for it back there they've been listening to like an opera song um so um the cards that came out from my own deck were venus the rose and throne and again this idea of this vying for power that has been coming through, the throne card has been coming through a lot. I think Leo had it, Libra had it, um, another later sign had it. it. It just keeps on coming up. And this idea of kind of like, who's going to take the throne, right? Who's going to take the seat of power? And with Venus and the rose, it's this, it's beauty, right? It's, 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 if you think of Venus and the goddess of love, you know, she's the embodiment of beauty. Uh, beauty and love, which is kind of saying to me that, you know, this this is what this is what's needed in this situation. This is um, who the throne is intended for in a way. Those who speak with love. It doesn't have to be a Libra or a Taurus who are ruled by Venus, right? This is kind of a uh, a Piscean card, but it's like those who those who speak from the heart. Those who um, can make connections with the hearts of others. This is this is what's needed. Um, and then water spirit and manifesting dreams with the me messenger of water it has this thing of kind of it could even be it could even be kind of a david and goliath type situation where it's like uh you have this p big powerful uh figurehead this big powerful person who has this seat of power and then the small person going to speak to them and saying i just want to be heard can i just it's so important to me to speak to you in this moment. Can I give you perhaps the details of this situation? You know, and speaking from the heart, uh, perhaps having the opportunity to, they're giving me, lend me your ears. Hold on a second. Talking about lend me your ears. I just asked uh, my eldest to kind of be a little bit quieter back there. Um, it's hard to think, right, when there's background noise. Uh, I don't know if that's like a message for somebody. Anything that comes through in the reading is... Um, is part of the reading now what's really interesting as well is we have things like courage right and with this aspen spirit it's kind of like the courage to approach the castle to speak to the king you know to speak to those who are in power um and it feeling like a again with we've got that thing about like impulsivity or knee-jerk reactions or seizing the moment is is kind of the energy coming through because you have all these cards like closing door completion interesting we've got benefactor there as well like grace and generosity so it's actually finding perhaps somebody who's in power one of these has um, a little crown on it's like find, finding the person who's in in power to actually be quite surprisingly um receptive perhaps when you can make that heartfelt plea when you can when you can make that heart connection 
So with closing door completion, like Aspen Spirit and all these kind of things, and then even Intuition Cat, it has this kind of seizing the moment feeling um, and kind of like not getting bogged down in the details. We've got this little kind of a rabbity thing here as well. Um, and it's, so it's, it's looking to me something like, because we have this kind of like portal right with the door. It's also here, uh, kind of like here as well in the center of this. Like the biome here as well is looking to me like this portal, this door, and then the golden palace. So we have this thing about kind of like, let me just show you these three cards together. So it has this feeling of almost making a dash for it, right? Making a rush for it. Uh, you know, perhaps um, waiting at the government building and wanting to get in and, you know, they're not like perhaps not being allowed in, not being let through, but, you know, seeing a door, like a side door that's kind of just closing and running up and catching it, you know, just at the right time. It's got this kind of like dashing through kind of unnoticed energy um, because it's looking to me like... Um, Something like, there's something about um, where people are looking, right? Having the spotlight on you. So this card came through with assessing. So it's like um, assessing the situation, waiting for the right moment, uh, looking for the blind spot almost, because I was thinking to myself about how we only ever see one side of the moon, right? The, the sun shines on one side of the moon and that side of the moon is always facing us we never see the dark side of the moon right we never see the back of the moon and then this person is kind of assessing the the, the back of the moon so it's like what's been hidden so the things that aren't public knowledge the things that are done behind closed do or doors perhaps so this could be some kind of like um like an ombudsman or somebody who's like assessing a situation but they're getting this behind closed doors view but then again it's kind of almost looking to me like the guard right they're so preoccupied with trying to see what's going on with the moon um and again there's this vision quest right so it's almost looking to me like you know someone who's looking at someone it's almost like attracting attention like look over here like um the sun the spotlight's shining on me the sun is looking at me so it's almost like this person dancing on the room and attracting attention and maybe even attracting the guard's attention while the sun seems to be coming through this closing door it's looking to me like this i don't know if i can explain it very well uh so it's like the sun is shining behind the door like the light is coming from behind the door and then it's here so whatever this door is it's being unnoticed because there's somebody who's too busy assessing the moon energy and again the moon can be confusion or things that are not seen and then the sun is here with like the queen of cups so it's this again it's very it feels like almost like god's love energy i talk about the sun being like um pure creation energy or pure love like unconditional love sometimes for me visually so it's almost like that venus energy is like like it's almost like when you when you love someone and you know you feel lighter you feel like you know some you've got a crush on someone they smile at you and it's like your mood brightens you know this lighting up of the room because of these messages of love right um so I'll explain to you what I'm kind of seeing here so there's this feeling of kind of like with this nyx and darkness again it's got that feeling of kind of like the unknown or the unseen or the hidden but then a light kind of like almost like a torchlight like something flashing and it's like um suddenly knowing that you have to go in that direction right and maybe like rushing forward to get through that opening to get through that gap and there's something about it's, 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 it's like this, right? It's like the inner world, the inner sanctum, perhaps, of a building, the behind the scenes, the... Um, because on the surface, right, it's like on the surface of the moon or something, it's like cold and like this kind of like void darkness energy. But inside, like inside the Golden Palace, there's all this earth energy. You see? It's like here, it's all this earth energy. So... What am I trying to say with that? And it says connection, right? So it's like this importance of like making the connection, making a global connection, perhaps connecting roots. Yeah, maybe. It is. So like this could be talking about like the government structures, right? The 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 buildings all around the world, right? And and recognizing perhaps a common thread, right? A common connection. So going back to the roots, like um, going back through the past, perhaps. Again, like the six of water can indicate the past. There's the emperor. So a past emperor, right? A past 
ruler, someone kind of like Genghis Khan, you know, like everybody says, like everybody's related to Genghis Khan. It could be something like that. Um, it's like, um, like uh, recognizing how interwoven our histories are, recognizing that perhaps we're not individual com countries, but we share a planet. It's something like that. It's like how interwoven our histories are. Are, how interwoven our past is it's funny I've been getting a lot of videos this week about like um I don't mean to take any of the weight away from the subject that I'm about to mention but um a lot of people know about the transatlantic sl slave trade for example but I've been getting a lot of videos about um where people are starting to acknowledge some of the um the the other types of slavery and the other um uh, like throughout different periods of history um, and uh, even currently like modern day slavery um, that still exists and you know a lot of the complexities how different countries kind of um, had different roles but all were connected by it and how um, how it's not just a simple uh, narrative that makes a good movie how it's actually incredibly complex and uh the roots of it are are intertwined and connected and you know it's it's this really complex human history uh, when you get into you know a deeper level of it um and um you know and 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 the more you dig into it, the harder it is to, to understand and the weight of it is is heavier, which is why I think some people resist that that deeper dive into it. And again, not to kind of like uh, take any of the 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 power of the stories of, you know, what people first think of away, because absolutely there's truth to it. Right. And there is history and evidence and it was awful you know and there's so many atrocities that have happened around the world that are just awful and uh, I don't know there's something about like do you see what I mean it's like the connection and so connecting on a rather than seeing ourselves as all different connecting on a a deeper level where it's kind of like um you know if you prickles do we not bleed that kind of energy is this this is this the the love the similarities the connections the um how we're all in this together, right? How we all need to look after our planet, something like that, rather than um, seeing ourselves as uh, perhaps nationalism. I know there's been a big rise of national nationalism in the past, what, 15 years, something like that, um, along with the kind of rise of the conservative government, coincidentally or not. Um, so um, it's kind of like that. It's like the, um, you know, the, how the media spreads hate instead of spreading love and, and you know, oli oli oligarchs and demagogues and all these kind of words. Um, but um, like they're telling me like the poison well again. So um, early modern literature had this thing about the, the poison well. If, if, um, if the country's poisoned at its source, then the whole like uh, the whole country will go bad. So it's not talking literally, it's talking about um, if you have a terrible leader, if you have a cruel leader, if you have a leader who controls with, um, you know, hateful words, and um, then the whole country will become hateful. When you have a leader who leads with love, when who leads with like the rainbow energy, right? Of, 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 of hope and healing and we can make things better, we can make things brighter, then it makes, um, you know, it spreads throughout the, the community and the collective and and suddenly everybody's saying we can be better people we can love our neighbor we can you know all these kind of good qualities and so then we end with family and this this again seeing ourselves as one big family one big connected um global community and and finding companionship there and finding people who are like us and finding home and finding um community um through our shared roots, perhaps. Um, and The Courage to Change as well by Sia was a song that kept on coming through last week. So any of that could make sense or not. You're going to have your own personal thoughts about what I've said here. You know, you're, you're going to come to these, these readings or anything, any piece of media, you're going to come to it with um, your own knowledge, your own education, your own... Um, uh, upbringing and your own points of view um, and I think that's really the point we all come to the table from a different angle you know we all pr approach the table uh, they're telling me battlefield or battleground we all approach the battleground from our own uh, corners of the world and when we get there you know we do have a choice about how we interact with each other um, 
and that's something that's coming through. So there's something about the numbers. I don't know why. I was kind of looking at... Because 41, 44, 43, 46, there's a lot of these 40 numbers. Um, and then there's something about 19 as well because this darkness card and the sun are both 19. And again, there was something about um, like 19, like 1919, maybe something happened in that year or uh, something like that. And then this nine as well here. So it's something about like the darkness and the light, right? And how they're always perfectly in balance. Like they're always... You know, where there's light, there's dark, where there's up, there's down, you know, ugh, opposites, something like that. Maybe, ugh, I don't know. Um, but then there is this opportunity for a new beginning, a new beginning where we open the door to uh, benefactor energy, grace and generosity and gratitude and um, being being companionable and being kind and being loving and choosing kind and companionable and loving words um the details was like the devil's in the details so again it's kind of like getting bogged down with the details getting so lost in um the mud of the crown games that you forget you forget to rule with the heart something like that um i'm saying you i don't mean you as a person i mean the collective you um the song that randomized specifically for this reading when I asked Spotify for a song, was uh, Lonely Together, Avicii, Aviki, and Rita Ora. Um, it's, you and, it's you and your world and I'm caught in the middle. <laughs> Which is kind of like this card, right? It's you and your world and I'm caught in the middle. I caught the edge of a knife and it hurts just a little. And I know I can't be your friend. It's my head or my heart and I'm caught in the middle, right? Head or heart. Literally this, it's my head or my heart. My hands are tied, but not tight enough. You're the high that I can't give up. Oh, Lord, here we go. I might hate myself tomorrow, but I'm on my way tonight. At the bottom of a bottle, you're the poison in the wine. And I know I can't change you, and I won't change. I might hate myself tomorrow, but I'm on my way tonight. Let's be lonely together. So, I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. I did channel some songs. Um, I kind of woke up in the night with these songs. Um, I channeled three songs, but I've only wrote down two. I don't remember what the third song was. The first one was um, Endless Love. Um, I wrote down Luther Vandross, but I don't think it was Luther Vandross. I will check who it's by and put it in the description box down below with the correct singer. But um, if I've got it wrong, it could be that Luther Vandross means something. But it's that... Um, Two hearts, two hearts that beat as one. Our lives have just begun. And I, I want to share all my love with you. I'm sorry, I know I can't sing, but to get the lyrics out, I kind of have to. I kind of have to do it. And uh, no one else will do. And your eyes, your eyes. It's a duet, and it's funny that you've got another duet, Lonely Together. And then after my endless love finished, sometimes it's like a radio playing in my head. It's like I'm he I'm hearing what someone else is listening to. So endless love played, and then I got my girl, which is that I got sunshine, sunshine, right? On a cloudy day, I got what is it? All the riches, baby, one man can claim. I guess you'd say, what can make me feel this way? Like the video if you're singing along, and uh, like the video if you want me to show up. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get you one more song while I'm doing the reading live, and then I kind of think I'm going to close out the reading. Um, can I get something else that's meaningful? Please, can you try and get the message through? I'm talking to my guides, by the way. Uh, please, can you try and get the message through in a way that is going to really communicate the, the message clearly to whoever needs to hear it? Send me on my way, Rusted Root, party of five. Um, so it's it's from a TV show, right? Party of five, I guess. Um <laughs> So I don't think I ever watched Party of Five, I don't really remember it, but it's on my way. I would like to reach out my hands, I may see you, I may tell you to run. Um, you know what they say about the young. You know what they say about the young, I've been talking about the youth, haven't I, already? Um, well, pick me up with my golden hand, I may see you, I may tell you to run. You know what they say about the young. Well, I would like to hold my little hand, how we will run, how we will crawl. Send me on my way, do do do. Um, I don't know, I don't, it never makes sense to me when I get that song, unless there's, you're having a party and there's five people invited, I don't know. Um, I think it's like a family sitcom, Rusted Root, Rusted Root, I was talking about the roots, right? I feel like I need to get something else, and I don't quite know 
what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for some Scrabble tiles. These have been very, very eventful when I've used them in readings in the past. Okay, O. Oh. I'm getting to four. D. Oh, okay, don't O D. my hand mm -hmm. um. so obviously I can't see I hope you can see that I can't see what I'm getting out Odell Lado Lado sometimes they come out backwards uh, Lado maybe somebody calls someone Lado Maybe it's someone's initials. I don't know. Take it as it. Like model as well. It almost looks like model to me. Maybe somebody's playing Wordle. I don't know. Um, take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. I'm just trying to work out what I need to go to. Because I'm feeling like. Oh my goodness. The sickness. Oh the wave of sickness that just hit me. Yeah I'm going to go to the Alistair Crowley deck. Which is uh, a bit of a scary deck for me. I think that's something to do with, okay, uh, sort of magician energy as well. It was hanging around at the start of the reading. Okay. Okay, whatever comes through, I'm just going to read the, uh, the description in the book. I need to be quick. I've only got 5% battery and the sun is going down. Uh, the magician came back. Look, you've gotten the magician like three times. The magician, the ma ma magus, ma magnet, magus, magus, uh, trumps. It's got like two magician cards in this deck. I don't know this deck very well. I really like it, but it's very, it's, it was given to me by a friend and it's an older deck and it's got a lot of weight to it. So I just... You know, it's got like it's got a big history as well. If you want to kind of look up the history of this deck, so uh, yeah, it's it's got a lot of power to it. I don't use it very often. So we've got the magician and the magus, which is very, very, very curious to me. I just really I don't understand why there's two of them. I don't understand why there's two of them guys because they're both number one and I can't actually see I don't know can you guys look here I can't actually see the magician deck I think my son is the cruelty underneath it I can't I can only see like I said I'm not super familiar with this deck and I can't actually see magician okay i guess i'm gonna read the majors just give me a sec <laughs> okay that is really odd to me uh so the majors um the ma uh, magus magus i should know i did study uh, classical latin uh, the magus is represented by the greek god mercury the messenger with wings of pure spirit mercury bears the energy which spreads and radiates from him the card represents the will the wisdom and the word through which the world was created i told you creation energy mercury balances with great skill on the tip of a surfboard shaped um a surfboard shaped a stand and juggles with the different tools of communication. He is a genius at using all the possibilities available to him. So it could be talking about people who are in charge of media. You know, like, uh, what's his name, Murdoch? Um, you know, people who are in charge of the narrative. Um, not necessarily him, but people like that. Um, in his duality, Mercury stands for both truth and falsehood, right, light and dark. He brings all set ideas and judgments into question, which often make him appear in a questionable light himself. As a creative creature, he knows no conscious. He uses all tools, all methods to arrive at his goal. The temptation to misuse his talents is great. His ability and skill lend him superiority and power. He moves on the narrow border between white and black magic. This means he needs constant self-examination. He can use his talents in a self-seeking manner or in the service of love and light. Right? Oh my god. 
In this painting, the mage just plays with the possibilities of communication. He wears a smile, meaning that he communicates with humour. The humorous, playful ease with, with which he uses his ability is an indication of its poten potential positive use. Okay, I'm going to just skip a little bit of that because it's quite a lot. Indications you have at your disposal brilliant ca capabilities which you should share with other people. One important task is to find or create the proper surroundings for your activities. Okay. Wow, that is really interesting. I'm really confused about this magician card with like cruelty underneath it as well. It's kind of like the two sides of the magician or something. Uh, right? The, the What is seen and what is never seen. Um, Knight of Swords. Um, okay. Knight of Swords, where are you, Knight of Swords? And again, Knight of Swords is about communication. The Knight of Swords in his gold green armour goes hunting, riding at full gallop, the embodiment of his goal-orientated mental activity. He knows where he is bound and he will not rest until he arrives at his destination. Send me on my way, right? He has remarkable powers of concentration. Thoughts and ideas come to him with lightning speed. He is a master of imaginative and flexible thinking, which he uses to achieve his goals. I need to say it's giving strong uh, Gemini energy. I've got a Gemini moon, so I do understand this myself. Um, I'm familiar with this idea and energy. Somebody could have a Gemini Mercury placement, specifically. Um, mine's Libra, but again, Libra's kind of very balanced light and dark so again can, air sign energy do you understand it um you know the idea of it being used for good or evil it's very machiavellian in that way i think um the four propellers refer to the four heavenly directions and in indicate that the power of thought is bounded neither by time nor space his strong intellectual determination is unified with a deep emotional perceptiveness only goals which are emotionally charged can kindle such passion body intellect and spirit the three swallows are in harmony and fly alongside him it says you are in a good position now to forge plans set goals and bring them to fruition so do you have a goal what is that goal going to be? So this idea of like a closing door and an opening door um, that is incredibly interesting to me. I'm so confused about this card and so worried. And the emperor underneath it. Oh, lovers there as well. Like the emperor is the person who holds power. They could be somebody who's particularly cruel and uses um, uh, media to um, manipulate uh, the population. Um, and maybe hide the actions again it could be good it could be bad but it has that feeling of kind of like going in different directions as well right crown games the right use of power so um what is it like absolute power corrupts absolutely and you know somebody who is uh very intelligent and very good at manipulating communication does hold a lot of power are they using it for good or are they using it for perhaps to hold on to their own power i would say that pluto energy is going to kind of rip all that apart if it's being used uh badly um it, the towers crumble right and i want to say we're going to go forward with love and light because that's kind of what's showing over here and it's the best way to go forward you know people can use this energy for love and light you know these are the, the the people who use this energy correctly are like human rights lawyers you know intelligent motivated good with communication good with language uh human rights lawyers are absolutely like the high vibrational version of that energy um you know this Media manipulation is not so good. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to get one more song. One more song. Like, come on, Spirit, you've got this. Ooh, Bang Bang by Nancy Sinatra. I was five and he was six. We rode on horses made of sticks. He wore black and I wore white and he would always win the fight. Bang Bang, he shot me down. I hit the ground, that awful sound. My baby shot me down. Okay, I don't know what this is, guys. Um, I don't know if this is going to be something we see in the media. I don't know if the, bang, bang, my baby shot me down, right? That's literally what I was talking about in France. Uh, the guy was shot. Um, this feels like a very heavy series reading. I did feel very motivated to to just randomly pull cards. Um, I wasn't actually planning on doing a reading, but the energy came through, so here I am. I, I, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. We're going to see what happens. Stay safe you stay in the love and light right um and uh use your intuition uh and trust right trust your intuition 
Guys, you're going to be okay. The universe knows what it's doing. Have faith. Take care. I will see you all again soon. Bye, friends.